double decker magic bus. The double magic school bus? We might be floating away somewhere. We're Brittany and Drew, two hopeful adventurers who got married, moved into a van, and have been chasing adventures all around the globe ever since, and are now searching for a place to call home here in Portugal. Subscribe and join the ride. <sighs> this morning we woke to dolphins. Can you see them out there? Wow, babe, do you see them? Getting a closer look. That was a nice surprise. Yeah, it was. Did not expect that. No, this spot has been excellent. Welcome to the neighborhood, guys. Since we last saw you in São Marino do Porto, we have since continued south, slowly making our way down Portugal's stunning silver coast. This morning, awakening near the Lagoa de Obidos, the largest saltwater lagoon in Portugal that offers the best year-round kite surfing with its buttery smooth waters and consistent winds. Except not today. Oh, it was so hard to leave that beautiful coastline behind. But when you have a double-decker bus inviting you to come stay, I cannot wait to show you guys how beautiful the inside of this double-decker bus is. You go, so we are going. And out of all of the unique structures that Drew and I have had the chance to experience and live in for a short amount of time, including a tree house, a yurt, a potato. <laughs> what else was there? A container. dome, a container. We have never lived or slept in a double-decker bus before. We've ridden in one once in London. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm curious to learn the history of this bus and we can't wait to share it with you guys. And we can't wait to get there. Does anybody recognize this little windmill from one of our past episodes. We recently found out that they did drop the price of the windmill by 5,000 euros. So it's 63,000 euros now, but still, it's on top of the highway next to a really busy road. And right, the giant, huge tower. Regardless, it still has a little special place in our heart because I don't think it ever intended to be next to a highway or a giant tower, so. <sighs> RIP, beautiful windmill dream. Anyway, Drew and I have found ourselves just kind of looping around this whole area. We've been in between Tomar and Peniche, Nazare, but this is a very interesting part of Portugal that we have found ourselves very magnetized to this time around. For those of you wondering, the water mill is still in the works and we'll be going down to the Algarve very soon in a coming episode. Fingers crossed. Water mill, water mill. If it's meant to be, it shall be. And hopefully our patience will have paid off with this one. It would be more than a year in the works. And then some. 10X. Whoa. We're finally two minutes away and we are just driving past farm field after farm field with pumpkins and corn and other I don't know what's that are beautiful and green. Sunflowers. Wow. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh. We're here. Oh, there's the bus. Before getting a tour of what is listed as one of the best Airbnbs in the entire country, it was also featured in Condé Nast and countless other magazines. Ricardo wanted to show us what the bus looked like before, so he took us to see his two other pre-renovation vintage double-decker bus projects, both of which he plans to convert since his first one has been such a hit. This is like the double-decker world back here. <laughs> A world of possibilities. It smells like pine. Oh. And the church bells. This is the actual motor. <laughs> wow. Even that's a hard work removing it. Just getting this out. Yeah. <laughs> Many pieces and a lot of weight. Yeah. After you. This one still has a chair. Woo. <laughs> Imagine wow. all the people on the bus. A lot of people. Fun fact, most of these double-decker buses had 74 seats. 43 on the top and 31 on the bottom. Almost 14 feet tall. That's really tall. And 30 feet long. Mercedes Daimler from Germany. Wow. I, can, I can get used to driving this thing around. <laughs> you look good up there, babe. Two, two. <laughs> Check my mirrors. 
I feel like we're almost on a train car. Me too. Only in Brazil, only boots. Okay. Only boots. See, in Portugal, autocar. Autocarro. Yeah. Autocar. Oh, we learned something new. <laughs> Every day we're learning so much. There's so much inspiration to gather from these types of projects. All sorts. Especially when you're looking for properties and you're looking for something to call home. Bienvindo, we are here with Ricardo. We're just gonna ask him a few questions about this transformation. And I'm gonna to attempt to ask these questions in Portuguese. <laughs> okay. In moments like this, it would have been extremely helpful to have magical earbuds to help translate our English into Portuguese and Ricardo's Portuguese into English. And thanks to the sponsor of today's episode, Time Kettle, we are now able to translate live conversations with their three-in-one translation earbuds. It's like hiring a personal translator to join us everywhere we go so we don't miss any opportunities to converse with locals and so we can understand things we would otherwise have no idea what was being said. Speaking of hiring a translator, we asked my Portuguese teacher, Angelo, to meet us here to help show how easy the three modes of the Time Kettle's M3 translator earbuds are. Listen mode translates for you, the listener, something like a lecture or a movie that's being listened to in a foreign language so that you can understand what's being said. Speaker mode is best for short two-way conversations because as the earbuds translate, the foreign language into your ear. When you speak, it will translate for the other person via text on the screen and audibly through the phone's speaker. And last but not least is touch mode, which is best for in-depth conversations where each person puts in an earbud and whoever taps the earbud first talks continuously while the earbud translate for their friend. Then when the other person is ready to talk, they tap their earbud. And Time Kettle magically makes a multi-language conversation easily understood by all. To experience the magic of Time Kettle's M3 translator earbuds, use the link below to receive 10% off your pair. As great as Time Kettle is, if you want an actual human teacher like <laughs> I need as well, where can they find you? Well, you can find me on TikTok, Portuguese underscore Angelo, and there you can find all my social media profiles cool. and the platform I talk in. Obrigado. Obrigado. Quanto pessoas dormindo? Ui, há muito, muitas pessoas. Sim, de, de todo mundo. mundo. Sim. Todo mundo, exatamente. Ai. There's a map I noticed on the wall in there that shows all the people from all yeah. parts of the world that have been there. We have to put our pin somewhere, yeah. although I'm not sure where we're going to say we're from. No Marico. No Marico. <laughs> in the middle. Okay. <laughs> I love how the pincushion looks like a whole cluster of balloons. It's like up. Look at all of the people from Portugal on there. Since our last home before we became nomads was Los Angeles and nobody has claimed the spot on the map. Let's take it. We're taking it. What was the hardest part of building uh, the bus and converting it? Difícil uh, de transformación. <laughs> Wow. Every week, poco, poco, always sí. working. Yeah. And, and, and so Pa is a carpintero. 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 So it's a yeah, true yeah. family effort. Yeah. yeah. Family. Yeah. 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 Very, very uh, Okay. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Nada, nada. Obrigado. Bienvindo. <laughs> Now we can finally take you guys inside of Leiria 18. Leiria meaning the region where the bus is located and 18 being the year that it was brought to the property. I have a booster stump. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. And it even has a half window like that little red car that we drove by to let in the air. Whoa! I don't think it has hydraulics to hold it open. <laughs> At least not anymore. <laughs> but seriously, for a second, can you imagine being a driver driving this behemoth around the streets of London? There would be so many people on top of me, all around, you know? This bus is only going one direction, though. <laughs> this wheel don't turn. nice and cool in here in multiple ways. There is air conditioning, which makes a huge difference. Tickets for two. All aboard. Next up, the tour. I love that he even punched a hole in today's date. Look at this. His sister home made these cookies. Can I get one? <laughs> Those are so flaky and crispy, buttery. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> 
Who stole the cookies and the cookie jar? <laughs> there are so many little touches that each family member has added to make it so special and unique. We got the cookies. <laughs> and over here, we even have some homemade Porto that Ricardo's dad fermented and put in the bus for us. And they even put a couple of goodies in the fridge for us. Half a dozen fresh eggs from the property. We got chickens right behind us. And the cupboards come complete with everything you would need and more. And over here, where there is bench seating. These benches were actually placed where the original tire wells were. Ooh, ta-da! Pillows. It's really cool to be able to look at some of the old photos of what the bus was like in the 60s and 70s. Next stop, a full-size bathroom on the bus. A beautiful shower. <laughs> There's a throne and his sister even handmade soaps for us to enjoy. Using olive oil from the olive trees here surrounding the property. And it's got one of these, which I haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> this is glamping at its finest. Time to go upstairs. There's still seating complete with a child-proof gate. This is mostly just the chill zone, the game room. You can take in the view of the vineyards. There's still one more room to see though, the master bedroom. And it's right over there, above the driver. This feels like a normal size bedroom. This bus is so comfortable. No wonder it took him a year and a half to convert it. They did such beautiful woodwork. I think you might've heard him say, but his dad is a carpenter. And so the ceilings, the doors, everything has been handmade, including the wood all around the hot tub that's outside that you haven't seen yet. I'm also super grateful that there's another air conditioning up here because it's a whole nother world on the second floor <laughs> and it stays a lot cooler with the curtains shut. I definitely look forward to sleeping in here. I think we're gonna sleep very soundly and... You know, we're still gonna have wheels under us. It'll still feel like home. <laughs> Just a little bit bigger. <laughs> and we step outside for... A couple fun features on the exterior of the bus, like this custom storage area. So cool. Super cool. They're using the original hydraulics to lift this whole hood up. Wow. Opening up the radiator grill and look. This is where some of the utilities that are running the inner workings of the bus are located now. Brilliant. He's gotta put his nose back on. Try not to break anything. Oh, it just like hangs with hooks up top. All right. Double Decker Magic Bus. The Double Magic School Bus? We might be floating away somewhere. They really did think of everything. They have their own little sand beach down here. A little sandy now. I don't know when the last time was I made a sand angel. A swimming pool. Ready? Okay. Not very deep. Ah! <laughs> a hammock on the backside next to the fig tree and the entrance. A hot tub. Double, double boil in trouble. His dad even handmade this wooden paddle. It's heated with actual logs from the land. And a barbecue zone. One of our favorite things about the barbecue zone. Oh, how fun is that? It's a little water button. I love that they've gathered pine cones as the kindling. We're gonna put on some charcoal. I'm kind of a rookie at this, guys. Usually I cook with propane, but I hear that the flavor and the taste of charcoal is superb. Come on, pine cones. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this olive oil is made from the olives on this land. They pressed them and made their own olive oil. Barbecue zone is in full swing. Oh yeah, stoke that fire. <laughs> you can fan it as well. <laughs> I'm probably supposed to put those on first. And check out that view, guys. Double decker life. <laughs> I'm in. Should have got you another patty. You'd be having a double decker. Very soon, the hot tub will be the perfect temperature to 
hop on in. And look at this, the bus headlights are on. Cool! We wondered if they still worked. That's amazing! <laughs> When I was young, just a boy, dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years, I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are. I want to grow old with you. Hear the church bells? Rise and shine. We just woke up in a double-decker bus. Look at this. They left us a basket of bread. It is hand-baked fresh this morning. How cool. It's a magnet. It's all in the details. Coffee's brewing. Today's gonna be a good day. Join us next time as our adventures in Portugal and a search for home continue. Até logo. See you next time.